So here's how you burn charcoal incense. First of all, you need something fireproof or fire safe. This is an incense burner, a special incense burner someone gave me. Then you need incense charcoal. This is not regular barbecue charcoal. This is charcoal for incense. Incense charcoal. It's a very specific type of, inc of charcoal. It's for the purpose of burning incense. Do not use regular barbecue charcoal as that lends to toxic fumes that you could kill yourself with. So don't use that. You need a scissors or a tweezers. I use a scissors because you need to hold the incense tablet, light it up, and you need to hold it so that you can light it up. You can use matches or a lighter. Sometimes you need a lighter because basically it'll take longer for it to spark up. So I'm gonna do my best to kind of like do all of this and hold the camera too. So you need to hold your incense in your scissors like this. Let me see how I can move this camera and get you all what y'all need. So you need to basically hold this like this and then you need to light it up with your uh, lighter or match. I'm gonna use the lighter because it's easier for me to use and try to shoot this for you. So I'm gonna use the lighter, but here you go. So you need your lighter or matches and you're gonna light it at one end and you should see that it should spark up. Now these charcoals are a little bit old because I usually buy a lot at one time, but they're actually sparking up really well. You're gonna see it's gonna spark up. You need to be careful of those sparks. They can burn you. So you, and you wanna make sure that you're careful with your uh, handles or scissors or whatever you're holding. Now you need to allow the charcoal to com completely get sparked up before you do anything as far as putting incense on it. So I'm gonna try to speed this up a little bit so that you can see. You need the charcoal to ash over. So I'm not gonna wait for the entire charcoal to light up and ash over. That's gonna take a long, t a bit, uh, like 10, 15 minutes. But as you can see, there's a layer of ash right there. So you need the whole charcoal to become grayed over with ash before you put any incense on it. If you put incense on it beforehand, you're going to kill the charcoal. So you need to allow the whole charcoal to become grayed over with ash before you place the incense on it. Then you'll put the incense in. This will totally be grayed over with ash and then you can put your uh, reds in or herbal incenses inside. So you can see it's slowly graying over. You need it to be gray, not red, right? And that's how you use incense charcoal. I actually just dropped it, so perfect. Allow it to gray over with ash. Many blessings, hope this helps.